I've had this idea that I'm sure it's not an original idea, but it's one that I haven't personally tested. And I figured it was time to just see what happens when I do test it. My, my thought, and it's one of those thoughts like, you know, when you're in bed and you're just thinking like, what happens if, you know, a, a pedal just plugs into itself? Nothing. Um, because any, any output that it's sending back into itself, you're not going to hear anything. You know, it's, it's going through there. There's no audio coming out of that. Um, but there's obviously something going on there. So how can we listen in and maybe record that sound? Wow. So the idea here is that while you have this closed system of audio going out of the pedal and then back in, I can click this into the output of, of any pedal, really. I just decided to try the delay, this very simple delay pedal first. So we still have this closed loop, but then we've got one more output. And from here, I can connect a uh, another instrument cable. And this instrument cable could go anywhere, really. It can go... Okay, settle down. Uh, it can go into an amp, or in this case, for this experiment, I am going to plug it into uh, my Scarlett. And then in Ableton, you'll see that I have a very simple session open. And I'm going to take all these recordings and put them up on Patreon for download. But another thing that uh, running this through Ableton will allow me to do is if there's nasty frequencies, I can easily like notch out those frequencies and kind of clean up the signal. So I've got, you know, my power block here. And at some point, I'm going to plug in more pedals. But... Uh, my goal here is just to start easy and add little bit by little bit as you start messing around. So let's turn the FX up. All right, so where the magic happens is when you start adding effects down this chain. So there's a few ways I can control the output um, effects. I can plug directly into more pedals, or I can use Ableton to do some really cool stuff. So let's see what happens when I go from zero uh, to on. Cool. I really like that intro. Um, it's different each time. Let's see. It wants to get screamy right away. All right, so this you could consider at this point to be the sound generator. Again, there's nothing going through this except for its own sound. I'm going to add my favorite, I think a lot of people's favorites, Valhalla. What's neat is the reverb that we're hearing in Ableton, uh, Space Blender and uh, Valhalla reverb, isn't affecting the sound that is going back into it. What's cool is that we can add effects in the chain that goes back through the brain or just out. I don't have any hardware on the in the chain right now. So here's what I uh, was thinking I was gonna put in the chain. I've got this very simple EQ. Whoops. I was gonna throw uh, this phase phaser in there. And of course, you know, boss reverb. Cool. Uh, All right, this plugin is so fun. It's called Gatekeeper. I'm gonna put it after everything. 
and you can use it to create gated rhythms. So let's choose something um, like this guy. Once you get this guy going and doing his thing, you could put, I'm just going to put a, a standard, a simple delay on there. So since it's got sharp transients, you know, a simple delay will give you just a bit more movement. You know what I want to do? Out of curiosity, I'm going to plug this harmonizer in to the channel that's going back through uh, just to see what happens. I'm going to plug into the harmonizer. So now what's happening is that the delay is sending a signal out of nothing. Just a cell, I'm gonna turn it off. Into the harmonizer, which is then sending its signal into the delay, which is then sending, you know, around and around and around in a feedback loop. But we also get to listen in to that feedback loop. Interesting. So basically, you're just hearing noise, like the harmonizer sending noise out, or maybe it's picking up noise from here, and then it's just building those harmonies on itself as it goes through. And this is just dry. This is just the noise inside the machine. That's one harmonizer. Let's do two. Plug the output of harmonizer one into harmonizer two. Let's see what happens here. Whoa. Right on. All right, that's cool. Let's put some reverb on there. Are you f***ing kidding me? That's just feedback. Now it's got an auto filter on it.
Yeah, oh, I'll get back to the flashback. I want to do one more thing with this guy. As he's rolling along, I'm going to switch back to Ableton here and show you. I'm going to open up this EQ that is... that's still going and lift up some low ends here. better with just the one. Listen to that. Awesome. Look at that. So the feedback wasn't doing anything until I turned off. The harmonizer. So maybe what I'll try doing next time is put the feedback first. next time all right so i feel like this is an awesome first step 
Um, I'm going to do this again. I have a feeling I'll, I'll find combinations of pedals here that are, are kind of like the rock star combos. And I will absolutely just kind of cook live and see what happens. And then I can kind of put the recipes up. Uh, you know what I exactly what I used. Um, I have a Patreon, and I know that's a very loose way of me saying that. You know, if you want to support what I do, I have thou- thousands, getting close to it, of um samples from previous experiments up there. So Patreon.com, the Sound of Machines. It would be awesome to see more folks sign up. With that, I will see you on the next video.